Hi, I'm Camille, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bat decoration out of wire. Get ready to hit pause because here are the supplies that you'll need. Start off with one of the two foot long pieces of wire. We're going to make the head first, so I'm just bending over the little end so that it's not sticking out, and then continuing around my pliers, I am starting a little ball and once you've gone around several times so that you have a fairly substantial little ball and your plier tips are obscured by the wire slide it off of the pliers and continue just with your fingers making a ball just go all random directions it's similar to if you've ever made a yarn ball just vary the direction that you're going around until you have about six inches of wire left. Then take the wire and sort of force it through the middle of your ball and pull it down. And that will be the bottom of the head with the wire coming out of it. And you're done with this part, so you can put that aside for now. Now with the other piece of two foot long wire, we're going to make the body of the bat. So again, I'm just tucking down a little end so I'm not poking myself in the finger with it. And using a knitting needle, wrap the wire around. This doesn't have to be beautiful. You want to make it about one centimeter long. And use all of the wire. It slides right off of the knitting needle. This is a number 10 knitting needle, so if you have something else that's a similar width to the knitting needle, you can use that. I'm just going to tuck the other little end of the body inside. There's the body, and set that aside. Now for the wings. Take the longest piece of wire that you have and fold it in half. You can use your pliers to make sure that you have a pretty good fold. We are going to unfold it eventually, so it doesn't want to be a permanent bend that you aren't going to be able to undo, but a decent uh, bend in the middle there. And then you need to make a circle out of this, so I'm using a lip balm tube to make my circle. And I'm going around approximately two times. so. At the center of the bent wire, I have formed a double circle. Now, to measure how wide to make the bends in the wings, I'm using something else that I always have with me, my index finger. Uh, it turns out that makes the bends about one and a half centimeters long. So put your finger so that the tip of the wire where you have the bend is on one side and then put your pliers on the other side of your finger and we're going to bend the wire up so that we're making like this um, scallop design. And you do this four times. When you make the fourth bend, go ahead and bend it all the way over to about a little less than a 90 degree angle going the other direction from the rest going completely over. Then using your fingers, you can unbend the circle that's remaining from the lip balm. I'm measuring from about the middle joint of my finger to the end of my finger and putting a bend here. I don't unfold the back completely because I want to go ahead and twist my ends of the wire together at that bend and it's easier if you haven't completely unfolded the wings but you can unfold them a little bit so just twist down again about a centimeter now go ahead and unfold the wings completely and then take the body that you've made and slip it onto that wire Take the wires and pull them aside in opposite directions, and those will be the legs of your bat. So I just go ahead and put like a little knee joint bend. 
and then you're going to wrap around one of the scallop points. I wrap it around twice and then I want my bat to have like a little foot. So taking my pliers, I'm just making a little loop and twisting it and then wrapping the wire around the wing. One more time just to keep it in place. Then bring the wire back up to the twist of the body so that the leg now is sort of doubled and wrap it around a couple of times. Do the same thing on the other leg. Go to the scallop one up from the point and wrap around a couple times. Use your pliers to make a little foot. Yes. And then bring the leg back up. Wrap it around beneath the body. Then pull it around the body you've made and go ahead and secure it to secure this long wire to the top of the wings as well. And wrap it around the top of the body. Take these long two pieces you have and they're going to be like the top um, finger membrane on the bat. So I'm just wrapping it around once in the middle of the top of the wing and then taking it to the edge of the wing and just wrapping it around a couple times to secure it in place. <clears throat> and then trimming off the extra wire and flattening down the end. Keep that little extra bit of wire. I have about four inches left. This will be the ears of the bat when we get to the ear part. If you run out of wire, if you put a lot more wraps around the body, then you can just cut an extra two little pieces of wire that are about four inches long. Now I'm going to make the membrane on the other side of the wing, just once again wrapping around one time in the center top of the wing, and then pulling it over to the corner and securing it in place. Trim it off, save that wire, and flatten down the end. Take the last piece of wire that you cut at the beginning and cut it in half. So you have two pieces that are about six inches long each. Fold one in half and make a little twist at the top. Put the twist where you wrapped the top membrane wire around the top center of the wing and wrap around a couple times in opposite directions to secure this little loop in place. Then carry the wire down toward the bottom of the wing and secure each of the two ends in place at one of the points on the scalloped wings. Trim off the extra and flatten down the edge. There's the membranes on one wing. Take the little top part and fold it over to make like a little hook claw at the top and it also has a loop in it so if you want to hang this you can put wire through these little loops. Do the same thing on the other side. Take six inches of wire, make a loop at the top, attach it to the top middle wing and then attach each of the two long ends to the scallop points on the bottom of the wings. 
cut off the excess wire and flatten down the end. Fold over the little top loop the same direction that you folded over the top loop on the other side. Now we're ready to add the head. Take the long wire and slide it right down through the body of your bat. Wrap it around the joint right above the bat's legs. Then you can bring it back up the body and wrap it around the bat's neck a couple times just to keep the head where you want it. Whatever length of wire you have here, just use all of it around securing the head and wrapping around the body of the bat. When you get to the end, just go ahead and fold over the little end and hide it somewhere in the tangle of the body. Now your bat is almost done. It only needs one thing, ears. Take the two pieces that you cut off earlier and bend in the middle and then go down a little bit on one side and bend it in again so you've made this little triangle shape and that's going to be the ears so do that on both of them. Now take the ends of the wires and slide them through the bat's head. You might want to use your pliers to help you pull the wire through. And once you've got the ear in as far as you want it, just take the remaining wires that are sticking out the other side of the head and fold them around and hide them in the neck and body of the bat. And then do the same on the other side. If you make your head too dense, they won't go in. There we go. Work on positioning them so they mostly look like they're attached to the same bat, not like a mutant bat with two different ears. Unless you want to make a mutant bat with two different ears, then, you know, who am I to say? And take the remaining wires and fold them wrap them around and fold them to hide them in the other wires of the body and the head. And that is it. You've made a little bat decoration.